Hello guys, my name is Frank Suero. I am from Frank Suero Photography. I am a professional wedding and family photographer and videographer based in Orlando, Florida. And today we are here in beautiful big city, downtown Manhattan, New York, because we've been here for a week to do a couple of destination projects. And I wanna take this time to talk to you about a couple of products that my friend from Leo Photo sends me in order for me to review them and to give you my personal opinion about this product. Spoiler alert, I didn't pay for this equipment. They sent it to me in order for me to make this video and to show you guys what I think about this product. And the product that we're talking today are these two tripods. These are the new series of tripod that they released a few months ago. These are the LQ tripod, the Mr. Q tripod. I love this tripod. I already opened it, took a, took a look at them. And I'm surprised with some of the features that I want to mention, I want to show you here on this video. So let's start with the basic things and the difference about these two tripods. Okay guys, I'm now in my hands, I got both tripods. I got the smaller one, the 284 LQ-284 uh, tripod. And this is coming with the LH36 head. This is a very lightweight tripod. I used it yesterday in Times Square for a couple of shots and I also on my trip to the Star of Liberty. And this is the heavier LQ324 tripod together with the LH40. They have another bigger, heavier tripod in their line of the LQ-364 tripod with a bigger head. And I don't have that with me because I believe that with these two tripods you can accomplish whatever you want. The main difference between these two tripods, you can see it right away. One is a lot lighter, one is a lot heavier and bigger. And the reach of both of them are different. The L3324, it goes higher, it's more to a person like me that, I, that I'm about six feet tall. And this is a little bit shorter. But both of the tripod comes with the center column. I wanna show you that to you right away. Okay, and here I have both center columns. This is the one for the uh, LQ284, the smaller one. And this is the one for the LQ324. Uh, As you see, they are both same height, more or less, but the 324 is thicker because the legs on the 324 are way thicker than in the one in the 284. So the 364 is even thicker the legs and it goes higher. But the main difference I wanna show it to you right now and it's in the compactness of this tripod, how low they can go so you can travel with them. I was using my backpack yesterday, I put the 284 on it, and it was a breeze, it was really lightweight, and it gave me, it gave me everything that I needed. I was doing a photo shoot uh, for a couple inside or at one of the ferries that goes to the Star of Liberty, we took, we took picture with them, and then I did a couple of time lapse. I cannot show you still those, uh, those pictures because they are for a private, uh, uh, customer, but what I can tell is that these tripods are amazing. Okay guys, now we have both tripods here on this very uneven uh, platform here on the edge of the 31st floor here in Lower Manhattan, New York. And I want to show you, so the height of both tripods, the difference when they are uh, retracted or closed, is not that big, but when you extend them, it, the difference is more noticeable. For example, yesterday I was using the LQ284, the smaller one here, uh, because it's lightweight. I walk a lot yesterday. Actually, we walk about 9,000 steps, is what my uh, Apple Watch says. Uh, uh, and, and it was beautiful, it was perfect. I just need to uh, bend a little bit when I needed those shots uh, that I need to get closer to my, to my camera. Now, with the uh, 324, that's not a problem. I'm six foot tall uh, person and it works perfectly for me, the uh, 324. Uh, so the main difference in this tripod is gonna be the support, how much they support and how hard they go. Uh, compared to the 364, the 364 goes higher and it, it, it gets a bigger payload, but basically they are the same system. Now, there is a very different neat thing about this tripod that no other tripod in the market has it. And that's what it makes this tripod so appealing. A lot of people like me that I do video and I do photography at the same time. I don't wanna be carrying a tripod or a monopod for video and another tripod for photography. And that is the system that Leo Photo has created with the LQ, which is the quick release base system replacement. Basically, you got this knob here, you release it, 
and then you press this button here and the whole base for your head now is released. Now, I want to get closer to this, but before that, I want to show you how easy it is to change your base. You can put the extended version or the extension uh, tube of this with a breeze. Let me show you very quick. Okay, now I have the extension tube here for the LQ284. Uh, there is another extension tube for the uh, LQ324 and for the LQ364. They all comes with all the parts that you need. That's the good thing about Leo Photo. They include everything. You don't need to be buying separate things in order for you to have a complete system. So if I wanna put this here and use this base, it's just as simple as unlocking this knob, pressing a button in the back, releasing the whole thing. Now the head is out. And now I can just put this here, lock it in there, lose this, and now you got a complete different uh, set of tripod or set of legs that goes higher with the extension tube. That is beautiful. And the way that I'm gonna be using is that I'm gonna have two heads, one mounted in here and one mounted on the extension uh, part of the extension tube. So when I take my extension, I get it out, Okay, I just put my head on the flat position and voila, I'm ready to go. I need a little bit more reach. I already got a head on my extension tube. Get that one out, put this one in, lock this in place, adjust my height and voila, ready to go. I love this because it saves you a lot of time unscrewing parts, turning it around. And the good thing about this is that just by releasing this part and putting it through the bottom as such. Let me see if I can do this quick. Where is it? Okay, there it goes. Now you got your camera mounted upside down. Very easy. I don't know any other brand, even brands that cost thousands and thousands of dollars for a carbon fiber tripod can do this. And this is really, really cool. So I'm gonna get close here so you see how I do manage that part here, uh, how to change it, what button to press. I'm gonna keep doing it in the LQ284, but it's, it is the same thing for the 284, 324, and 364. Okay guys, now we have both tripods extended here for me to show you the difference in height. And I hope that you can hear me because it's a lot of noise now. So I got a 284, I'm a six foot, uh, six foot tall person. And this is the 284. Even with my camera here, I will have to bend down a little bit. Now don't take me wrong, this is a very sturdy tripod. It's just short for somebody like me. Or you use the extension uh, center column like I'm gonna show you in a couple of minutes. Now this tripod is very lightweight. I used it yesterday all day long for my photo shoot and it didn't even feel its weight. This is the 324, which is the perfect size for me if I don't wanna use the center column because once I put my camera here and lens, I just need to do this and I have perfect height. Now, what about if you need uh, to get it higher, if you need to go higher with your, uh, with your camera? Very easy, you unrelease, that knob like I showed you before, get your head out. Gonna put the one here with the for the LQ284, lock it in place, and now you have a platform that will raise about eight more inches. Now this will be 
perfect for me. Going around with the LQ284 and this extension tool, perfect for somebody like me that is six foot tall. I am exactly six foot tall. So this doesn't have any weight. And I'm surprised how sturdy this thing is putting that this extension tool. Normally, when you put an extension center column on a tripod, it makes it unstable. This, this thing is rock solid. I'm gonna do the same for the LQ324, so you can see the difference. And once you put the extension tube in here, okay, you raise it, you see the difference for both tripods. Now, both tripods can work for me, but I would prefer the 284 because it's a lot lighter. Okay, guys, also the, back, the tripod comes with a really nice bag. It's a carrying case, which is beautiful. And when you open it, it's a, a YKK zipper. It comes with a set of spikes when you are in uh, rough terrains. It got a, a carrying handle for the carrying case. It's a complete system, which is very, very nice. What I really love about this tripod is this quick release system that Leo Photo invented and that no other uh, company has it so far that is this easy and practical to use. Now the hard part, will I recommend this tripod? And it's hard for me to say no, because it is a yes. I would recommend this tripod if you're looking something that is really good quality, it gives you a lot of options, it gives you really good uh, alternative to way more expensive tripod. They are very, very sturdy, they are lightweight. I just love them, it's, it's incredible. What is going to be my tripod of choice? Well, basically both. And I hope that they have a lighter version of the 284, like a 2856 or something like that. Because for traveling, the lighter you go, the better. With a larger extended colon, uh, it will be perfect. Now, my everyday tripod will be the LQ284 because it's more than enough to hold whatever I put on that tripod, even my 200 to 600. My name is Francois from Francois Photography. We are a wedding and family photography and video uh, studio in Orlando, Florida, doing a lot of destination weddings and family shoots all over the United States. Until next time, guys, see you later. Thank you so much for watching this video.